we'll continue with the module 3 of the oral biopsies which includes the instruments and equipments so this module equips the students with the knowledge and skills to select handle and maintain the necessary instruments and equipments for performing oral biopsies safely and effectively while perform understanding proper sterilization and safety procedures anesthesia techniques and diagnostic equipment is crucial for successful biopsy procedure in oral pathology so the biopsy instruments which are used are blade handle with number 15 blade fine tissue forceps with teeth anesthetic solution and syringe Retractor which are appropriate for the site. Switcher is needed for the traction if needed. Needle holder to hold the needles. And suture for closure if indicated. Fine tip scissors. Then laser or electrocautery device for fulguration if indicated. And the bottle, plastic bottle which contains formalin and biopsy data sheet. And gauze sponges. For an FNAC, fine needle aspiration cytology, the equipments required are needles, which are the routinely used needles are 22 to 23 gauge needles, syringe are 5 to 20 ml uh, needed and the pistol handle. In this sterile container is also used, uh, which can contain physiological saline and Hanks balanced solution, slides which should be clean, dry and free of grease. And the hematocytometer, which is will be of 0.4 mm cover slip, which gives better control over smearing pressure and a more perfect spread. Fixatives are used, which are 70 to 90% ethanol, carnoise fixatives, 10% buffered formalin, and grotaldehyde, which are used as a fixatives. And the last one is the microscopes. Then sterilization and safety. For the surgical procedure for the biopsies, sterilizations are necessary for the safety of the patient as well as for the doctors. So it must be ensured that the infective control procedures are followed routinely and the saliva and blood which are known as vector of infection in dentistry. So to prevent these infections, sterilization is very important. As most carriers of latent infection are un unaware of their condition and it is important therefore that the same infection control routine is adopted for all the patients. Procedures which are used for the decontamination of the instruments are if the instruments are contaminated that is which are used uh, for the patients that used instruments have to first go through the initial cleaning that is it may be by hand or either ultrasonic bath or wash disinfector then it should be inspected whether it has been cleaned or not if it is clean then sterilize then and store and clean if it is not cleaned properly then again if the debris are visible then again we have to go through the initial cleaning then again inspect if it is clean then again sterilize and then it has to be stored the method of choice for the sterilization for all dental instruments is autoclaving. Dental instruments are sterilized uh, by autoclaving. So the temperature which has to be maintained is if steam autoclave then 121 degrees centigrade for 15 psi for 15 to 20 minutes. The items which are unwrapped it has to be autoclaved at 132 degrees centigrade 30 psi for 3 minutes. Then sharp handlings. The instruments which are sharp, uh, sharps which have uh, blades, it has to be disposed properly. So the rigid sided red sharps containers are used to dispose of sharp materials such as scalpel blades, local anesthetic needles and suture needles. So the safe handling and disposing of sharps are important as it minimizes the risk of needle stick injuries. Then anesthesia. It is also a very important procedure step in the oral biopsy. So as it helps to reduce pain. So local anesthetic equipments which are used are personal protective equipment, dental syringe, 25 
27 or 30 gauge short or long dental handle depending on the anesthetic technique, local anesthetic solution which is lidocaine and topical anesthesia can be considered. Block local anesthesia techniques are preferred over infiltration whenever possible so that anesthetic solution is not inadvertently incorporated in the surgical specimen. Infiltration anesthesia can cause distortion of the cellular architecture of the specimen and can make pathologic diagnosis more difficult. So the peripheral infiltration of local anesthetic with a vasoconstrictor is often recommendable. Injecting at least 1 cm away from the lesion's perimeter to prevent distortion of the lesion itself. So local anesthesia is important for pain management in dentistry. Then again after the uh, surgical procedure hemostasis has to be uh, maintained, it has to be achieved. So suction devices should be avoided. Uh, Gauze compressors are usually adequate to achieve hemostasis and gauze wrapped low volume suction may be used if needed. Few hemostatic agents which are used are absorbent gelatin sponge material, microporous polysaccharide hemispheres, oxidized cellulose, fibrin, sealant, topical thrombin, tranexamic acid. Then tissue handling and storage. After the biopsy procedure, the tissue has to be stored, it has to be uh, stored as, so that the proper architecture of the tissue has to be maintained. So specimen is handled gently to avoid crush artifact. Speci specimen should be immediately placed in 10% formalin solution in the biopsy bottles and should be completely immersed. Then after the uh, tissues are uh, stored in formalin while grossing the specimen should go through the inking only to see the margins of the specimen. The specimen margins are clearly identified using margin marker rings even if irregularities are present on the tissue surface. Margin marker sterile ink colors show brightly on the slides. So the used inking are India ink silver nitrate these are widely used. The purpose of specimen inking during gross examination is to accurately and faithfully transmit information to allow accurate and reliable microscopic assessment of the resection margins. Labeling of specimens. After the gross after the gross specimen has been inked, the specimens should be labeled. So the correct labeling and identification of specimen is very essential. Every specimen is assigned a number that is concurrent number and last two figures of the year. That is if the biopsy number of the year is 1 then it has and the year is 2017 then it should be 1 slash 17 and if the biopsy number is 232 and the year is 2017 then it should be 232 slash 17. Number written on a piece of white paper and dropped into the bottle containing the specimen and fixative. So osmium tetroxide label should be fixed outside the jar. Ordinary ink should not be used. Printed graphite penciled typewritten stenciled or India ink written uh, labels are used. Details which are mentioned are the name, surname, age, gender, ward di diagnosis and tissue are and the tissue are entered in a clinical report book or a post-mortem specimen book. Barcode and automated pre-labeling systems are also used in some labs. So this module equips the student with the knowledge and skills to select, handle and maintain the necessary instruments and equipments for performing oral biopsies safely and effectively, understanding proper sterilization and safety procedures, anesthesia techniques and diagnostic equipment is crucial for successful biopsy procedures in oral pathology.